these ancient trees have stood here overlooking the Herefordshire countryside for hundreds of years. The largest is 35 meters tall and three meters thick. This tree is one of Britain's biggest living things. And if I ask you where the raw materials came from to build it, you might say from the soil or from the water that it sucks up through its roots. But in fact, this tree was built almost entirely from thin air. The tree uses carbon dioxide from the air to build the molecules that make up everything from its mighty trunk to its delicate branches. Nitrogen that has passed from the air into the soil nourishes the tree. And its leaves release oxygen, the vital life-giving gas that we need to breathe. Today, we know the air around us contains the raw materials from which life is made. But how did we come to know that this invisible stuff around us contains anything at all? It's a remarkable story of heroes and underdogs. Chance encounters and sheer blind luck. It shaped our modern world. Unraveled the secrets of life itself. And it all began with one simple question. What is air? I'm Gabrielle Walker, and I trained as a chemist because I love the way chemistry reveals that ordinary things are full of hidden wonders. Take this view across the water here in the Solent, which hasn't changed much in hundreds of years. But in a sense, I see it differently from the way that people would have seen it in the past. 